Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got a really exciting new drop from Discraft. I have these discs thanks to Power Grip USA. So make sure you go use my discount code Iceberg10 and you can save yourself 10% on any of these new Discraft discs, anything over at their website, um, everything except for MVP and Axiom, you can save yourself 10%. All orders over $70 ship for free. Now I'm really excited about these new titanium discs. I've always loved the flight of Discraft titanium discs. I always found them to be a little pushier, a little bit straighter, um, a little more on the understable side. But my biggest qualm with the old titanium runs was that there were these very dull and earthy colors. I play in the woods a lot and I found them very easy to lose. Um, they just sort of had like the brown, the silver, the red, and they were all just very like dull colors, which when you, you know, accidentally launch a disc into the woods, it's very easy to lose a disc that is one of those sort of earthier colors. So the new titanium stuff is a lot more colorful, a lot more vibrant. I have not thrown any of these yet, but you can just see how beautiful they look. This nice like lavender-ish nuke looks absolutely incredible. They've got the nice blue titanium zone. These are all nice and swirly. We've kind of got the silver on silver swirls going on here. And then, I mean, this cicada is already a beauty before I've even thrown it. I know I'm gonna love the cicada. I'm curious how some of these other molds are gonna fly. I'm curious to see how straight or stable the titanium buzz is. I've always been a fan of the Nate Doss titanium buzz. So that's one I'm really excited to test out as well. But anyway, let's give the zone a throw. We'll go from slowest to fastest here. Titanium zone. Nice and straight with a nice reliable fade at the end. Definitely a little bit straighter. A brand new zone is usually a touch more stable than that. Let's go titanium buzz. Oh, that's a nice buzz. Probably just a touch more stable than the um, Elite Z 20 year buzz. Those had a little bit more flip out of the box, but that was a really nice buzz. I find that brand new buzzes are pretty darn stable. Maybe you guys haven't had that experience, but a new Macbeth buzz is pretty stable. So I really like that one actually a lot better. Titanium Cicada. This is the one I'm most excited about. Oh yeah. You guys know I'm a sucker for flippy mids and flippy fairway drivers. They're just so fun and easy to throw. And I think the Cicada was Discraft's best drop. I mean, over the last five to 10 years, honestly. Those cicadas are absolutely incredible, very underrated disc, very pushy, glidey, and just so easy to throw. And we've got this lavender titanium nuke. Let's see how, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be pretty stable. <sighs> that actually had a little bit of turn out of the hand. I think I can trust that with a little bit more height and get it to turn before it really swings out at the end. I kind of just, didn't fully trust it. Let's go grab them, we'll throw them back. Everything seems to fly really well so far. We are throwing them back into a slight headwind. Everything seemed to fly really beautifully. The titanium blends are always just a little bit straighter and pushier compared to like ESP or especially Big Z. I've always found to be a very stable blend for me. Let's go zone buzz, cicada nuke. Pretty big headwind. Let's see how everything flies back into the headwind. Oh, that's so high in the air. The zone is pretty stable, but definitely a little straighter than most new zones. I love a good straight zone, especially just for dead straight forehand lines. It's a really nice zone. Now we got the titanium buzz. It was pretty straight on that first throw. So not quite flippy enough for a full hyzer flip but a pretty straight flight. Not super straight, not like a buzz assess, but straight enough. Now we've got my favorite, the Cicada, easy hyzer flip machine. That's so good. The Cicada has some of the most accurate flight numbers of any disc I've ever thrown. Every Cicada that I've ever thrown had that nice minus one turn, then a one fade. When you compare that to something like the new FDs that I reviewed yesterday or the day before, 
It didn't really have that minus one turn out of the box, the Showstopper 2, but that new Cicada right out of the box has that beautiful minus one turn that you're looking for out of a mold like the Cicada. This Nuke actually had a little bit of turn to it, which surprised me. Let's give this a nice throw into the headwind. Man, if I could throw like just a few miles an hour faster, that would be an absolutely massive bomber nuke. Let's go grab everything. We're gonna throw four hands down into the tailwind, four hands back into the headwind. Then I'll give you guys my final recap and review of what I think of all the discs. Now, in my opinion, Discraft has one of the most complete lineups um, when it comes to all the manufacturers, but I always wish they had just a proper Heiser flip fairway driver. I'd always find myself if I wanted to throw a flippy Discraft fairway driver, I'd always throw some like old discontinued like Elite Z XS or XL or one of those older molds that you just don't really see much anymore of um, than in that discontinued Elite Z plastic. But once the Cicada came out, I really think that just brought Discraft's fairway driver lineup fully together. And it sort of closed any gaps they may have had in their lineup all the way from the Z plastic ones to the titanium ones. The Cicada is an absolute winner. Um, that mold in any plastic, just easy hyzer flips, easy distance, and easy dead straight shots. Now, I'm not really sure what more you could ask of a straight fairway driver. It's a really, really solid mold. And rumor has it you guys really like seeing me throw forehands, and I've been throwing backhands for so long, I've gotten so many comments saying, Dylan, why don't you throw forehands anymore? And that's just because I was trying to get good at backhand. So I've been trying to make it a point to throw more flicks in these disc reviews. So we'll go Zone, Buzz, Cicada, Nuke. It's stable, but not super stable. It's just a really nice, like, stock zone. Not, not super flippy zone, like a Jawbreaker one, but not a super stable zone like the Four Claw Macbeths. It's just like that perfect do-it-all stock zone. Now we've got the buzz. She's definitely pretty stable to handle the flick like that. It's not a flippy buzz, probably not as flippy as the old titanium buzzes, the Nate Dosses, but still flippy enough to where power throwers are going to get a really dead straight flight out of it. Let's try the forehand cicada. This thing's going to need quite a bit of hyzer. Oh yeah, that's so far. Love the Cicada, absolutely love the Cicada. Now I've got this Nuke. Um, this is a driver I would probably forehand more than backhand anyway, so this, this feels right. Oh yeah, it's flippy. All right, let's go grab everything. We'll throw it back one last time and we'll wrap things up. Starting off with the zone, going in the same order as last time. Put this on a little bit of flex, really test that stability. Plenty of integrity. It's a nice, stable, but not like dumb, stable zone. If I was to bag a zone, I would want one that flies exactly like that. Not just dumb over stable to where it's gonna fade so hard that it wants to skip, but I can still get some good pushing distance out of it just right in that nice kind of middle sweet spot. And I've got the titanium buzz. This is a little more stable than I expected it to be. I can really attack that buzz and be confident it's not gonna turn and burn. Like it's a pretty far buzz forehand. They're just nice and, I don't know, this titanium plastic Honestly has similar stiffness for me to like star plastic. It feels a little bit grippier, I think, than star plastic. Just a really, really solid blend. All right, cicada, headwind, forehand. This is the one I'm worried about flicking into the headwind. Oh yeah, hit that just about perfectly. It's a pretty sick line, honestly. Then we've got the flippy nuke, I think this guy's gonna actually turn a bit more than a lot of people would have expected out of a nuke. If you have a noodle arm, but you wanna throw a nuke, but you can't like maybe throw the Ezra Aderhold Tour Series, this would probably be a really good option for you. 
I don't really have the arm for a nuke, but this one seems to flip a little bit for me. Oh, oh yeah. Come on out. Oh, that had dreams of going 450. Unfortunately, cut, <laughs> cut short by the trees. Um, we'll go grab everything. I'll give you guys my final recap of everything. I'm really enjoying the new titanium line from Discraft, and they have way more molds than those four. Um, Power Grip just asked me which ones I wanted to try, and those are just the only four that I was honestly super interested in. I didn't really show you guys the side profile, so let's make sure to do that. This is a really nice board flat zone, which I'm a big fan of. Honestly, dummy zones, they shouldn't even exist. They just feel terrible. Nice flat zone. This is like a perfect zone. Not super stable, not super straight, just that perfect stock zone. Also looks beautiful. Then we've got the nuke, a little bit flippier than most nukes, which I think is good for most amateur players. Players that throw less than 70 miles an hour are really going to enjoy this run of nuke in particular. It also looks absolutely sweet. This is like a nice lavender pink, sort of cotton candy-ish looking disc. Then we've got another board flat disc. We've got the titanium buzz. Definitely more stable than the Nate Doss titanium buzzes that I've thrown, but definitely less stable than a new ESP buzz. So if you do bag the ESP buzz and you don't love the Meteor or the Buzz SS, this is going to be something that you're going to want to add to your bag for sure. So titanium buzz, nice and flat, straight-ish, but still stable, still flies very true to those buzz flight numbers in my opinion. Now we've got the Cicada. Cicada is one of my favorite molds in the entire Discraft lineup, and this one does not disappoint. Got the nice swirly pink. They have nice, beautiful colors. And as they continue to come out with more runs of the Cicada, this is one of the discs from Discraft that I'm most ex excited to try in various plastics. I'm a huge fan of the Cicada. Big fan of this new titanium line. Looks good, feels good, plays good. Not really sure what else you could want out of a nice new plastic blend. So good job, Discraft. You have two thumbs up from me. Go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code. You'll save money. All orders over $70 ship for free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.